<laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I'm trying to hide myself up because today I have to instruct a class. Um, this time of year, we um go over the changes and stuff in our handbook, and it never fails. I always have to be one of the instructors, which is fine. I like teaching, like I told, I, I think I've mentioned before, that I like teaching. I just don't like teaching people that LA, like, they don't know nothing, you know? <clears throat> you gonna learn today, you know what I'm saying? Because ain't nowhere in the world you supposed to be in the department from six to 11 years. <laughs> and don't know anything. Swear up and down, every time you go to class, you don't learn anything. You gonna learn how to do this work right today. You know, you gonna learn something. <laughs> you had to have learned something. Cause we got people reviewing our work. And if you didn't know anything, all your stuff would be screwed up. You will have all kind of people writing in, talking out, <laughs> blowing the building up, and all kind of stuff. If you was messing up that bad, you know. So to keep from um, having to do some more work. But the thing is, when evaluation time come, uh, they swear they know everything, <laughs> which they supposed to know, you know. When evaluation time come, oh, they doing a self-assessment, they know how to do the X, Y, and Z, and A, B, and C, and one, two, threes, two. You know, that's evaluation time, because they know they get a good evaluation. You know, nine times out of ten, they're going to get uh, uh, an award at the end of the year. <laughs> but any other time, they don't know nothing. Nobody taught them nothing. And you gonna learn today kinda irks me. But I'm gonna do my job. I'm gonna do, you know, what they asked me to do. Today, the only thing I gotta do is go over changes. And I think, depending on how many days we, we're in there, Maybe that third day I might have to do uh, some, you know, I, I'm gonna have to go into a little bit more detail on one aspect of the program. Um, I don't know, it just irks me when people always, you know, because it makes me mad because I always, they always want me to teach. When they ask for volunteers, no one else volunteers. They draft people and say, you gonna teach. <laughs> but then, when you get up there and you try to, you know, y'all know me. Y'all been knowing me for some months, you know, most of you. So, y'all know I try to make stuff fun. Because I don't like being bored. I don't wanna, Look at nothing boring. So I'm trying to make stuff as exciting as possible. Some of them appreciate that, some of them don't. Some of them still gonna cut up in the class. <laughs> and I be wanna put their tail out. Some of them they get too crunk, I do put them out. You know, I tell them up front, you know, we set classroom rules. Look, we're all adults, you know, my only rule is respect each other. You know, when somebody else talking, shut your mouth. <laughs> you know, that's my number one rule right there. Somebody else talking, shut your mouth. I mean, I let them, you know, set their own rules or whatever. But, um, I, I just don't, I just don't like no foolishness. Y'all know how I am, man. I don't like no foolishness. I want us to come in there and, and, and Get what, get what we can get out of the class and move on. I mean, you, these people should know by now that you're not gonna get everything out of the classroom experience. 
you're gonna have to take the information that we gave you and go out there on that floor and apply it. That's when you. That's when it's gonna click. You're gonna be like, oh, that's what they talking about. You know, you ain't gonna learn everything in the classroom. Now, when we get to the point, excuse me. Now, when we get to the point where we say, okay, if there's anything that y'all been having trouble with, you know, uh, let us know so we can go over it and get some clarification. Well, we tell them to do that. Some of them will bring some examples of issues they've had, some of them don't. But then my thing is, this is your opportunity to learn something. You swear you ain't learned nothing, this is your opportunity. So, take advantage of it. Hmm. Folks crazy. Some of them get better, you know, some of them get better after a while when they see anybody for to keep playing with them. Some of them just keep milking it. Keep milking it. <laughs> Forever and ever and ever. I don't know. So this year, I think, yeah, she coming Tuesday. This lady from the Philadelphia Service Center. She's coming today. Well, tomorrow. She she be in the class tomorrow. She's probably traveling today. Anyway, she supposed to come in and help us train. She supposed to come and go over some stuff, you know, that we been having issues with. That apparently, ah, you know, the Memphis people explanation of it is not suffice. So we say, okay, send us somebody. <laughs> Didn't know what they talking about. Say so we all know what we talking about. So we're gonna see. We'll see how this works. And if they still tell my they don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. They gonna make they gonna shut us down. <laughs> and I'm like, look now. <laughs> we done send you the best people we can send to help you. And you still don't tell my you don't know. You don't understand. But nobody talks to you. You a lie. <laughs> you is a lie and six more lies with it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But, hopefully today won't be that bad. So I just got one lesson. Hopefully, yeah, I'm hoping I just get that one lesson today. The way this book looking, I'm probably I'm probably gonna end up doing my second lesson tomorrow, depending on how fast we go through stuff. And my lesson today only supposed to go one hour, and I just happened to be the first one up. Mm, I'm so silly. I I picked it, <laughs> but I figured she was gonna do an elaborate, you know, introduction to the class and locked it out it all. She may or may not do it. I don't know. <sighs> but. I'm going to do what I do and keep it moving. But, um, hey, people. Class went pretty good today. I didn't have any crazy people. No, there's just one lady in there that, uh, that's, you know, was asking a lot of questions. But, um, it's because she is fairly new. I think she's only been there maybe two years. So, I can understand her. But, you know, we had a pretty good class today. And I whipped through mine because I didn't have much to say. <laughs> and they didn't have much to say. But tomorrow, I think my, uh, my lesson tomorrow is going to be kind of... <laughs> but I'm, I think I'm prepared because it's something that we deal with all the time. So, I got some handouts and stuff ready to go over. And I, and I know the material enough to answer most of, their, most of their questions. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. 
But yeah, I gotta go home now and get ready to go to the uh, to the club to set my set my table up and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna take as much stuff as I did last time. Um, Cause some of this stuff they really didn't even look at, you know? So, I'm just gonna take a, like a sample of, of everything. I ain't gonna take no whole lot of stuff. Cause I'm, you know, it's a nightclub. So, I ain't really just Trying to buy too much stuff, and so maybe next time I go, you know, I have some totally different stuff. Cause you know I do get you know the uh, the African colored uh, hats, and then I'm gonna take you know a couple of pieces of jewelry and. I think the um what's that other hat? Am I taking the zigzag hat? Not the zigzag, the other one. The front post something. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna um I'm gonna take a few things. I ain't gonna take the whole lot of stuff. And I see what kind of response I get, but I made a lot, made a, uh, a few, a few of them are page boy, news boy type, um, a couple of them are beanies, and I did make those, you know, some plain black ones too, and the rest of them are like colorful, so I didn't bring, you know, it's not a lot of stuff, it's not a lot of stuff kind of bagged everything up because last time I could tell it was the telltale smoky smell and I don't smoke but my dad smoked and most of the stuff that I had was made during the winter when he had the fireplace there so you know I don't like this smell and sometimes I don't care how much Febreze you put on stuff it still had that smell And even though, you know, it's like a nightclub, I don't, you know, every, people don't smoke in nightclubs anymore that I know of. So, you know, I can't blame it on that. Because they was just drinking. <laughs> they wasn't smoking nothing that I saw. So, I, you know, I just don't want my stuff smelling like smoke. A lot of this stuff I'm gonna leave at the house. A lot of this stuff really, you know, it's when I first started back crocheting and it's really not the way I want it to be, so I'm probably gonna end up taking some of this stuff for loose and do it again. Cause, I mean, it's just hacks, it's just hacks. So I can take them loose and do them again or whatever, make a different style. You know, nothing goes to waste. I recycle, <laughs> nothing goes to waste. You know, I'm probably gonna wash it and stuff before I even do that. Wash it, get this, this smell out. So, as soon as, so from now on, as soon as I finish stuff, I'm gonna um, put it in those Ziploc bags. The uh, gallon size Ziploc, not gallon, is it a gallon? Gallon? Whatever. Big Ziploc bags. <laughs> So I want to have that smell on If it's any smell, it's going to be Febreze or Downy or something like that. Or it's just no smell because I never know somebody allergic to something. So, this my day. <laughs> my Monday. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and let you know how things went. Let me show you. And how tomorrow's class goes. <laughs> That's all. Thanks for watching. Peace.